everybody, it's me, Jackie Armand. I'm back again with another uh, fun video. Uh, today, um, I thought we'd just kind of do just kind of a relaxing video. This was not actually what was intended for this video um, this month, but I got something for my birthday at the beginning of February, and I thought that I should use it in this in a in the next video. So basically I got a real Jumanji game. Now <laughs> if you are living under a rock and you don't know what Jumanji is, uh, it was a movie in the 90s starring Robin Williams, and Kirsten Dunst, and a bunch of other people. And it was about a kind of like jungle board game that causes things to come to life. So like it kind of brings the jungle out to the real world and you're having to deal with crazy tasks and, and surviving things in order to win the game Jumanji. And it's a really, really good movie. So if you've never seen it out there, you should definitely watch it. I think it's one of my absolute favorite movies, especially favorite Robin Williams movies. I just, I love it. I like how um, crazy it is. Uh, it's like heartwarming. It's, um, you know, kind of life lessons in it. Um, even like the effects still kind of hold up today. I mean, you can watch it. Some of it is kind of like, eh. That's, you know, you could tell that's CG a little bit, but I think for the most part for when it was made, the effects are really well done. Uh, there's some really great animal puppetry that, that still holds up. And it's kind of a little bit scary. Uh, there's some parts of the movie that are a little bit scary. I have watched the newer Jumanji's that have come out and I do also very love them. I think they're great for their own reasons. Uh, they're a little funnier, there's more comedy to them, which is not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. Um, I do love them. I think they're great additions to the Jumanji universe, uh, but that first one is still going to be like a special place in my heart because well, I'm a 90s child and I also just love Robin Williams. Uh, he could do anything and I would watch it. So anyways, I've just always had a special love for Jumanji. And anyway, I, long story short, Too late. I had seen this Jumanji replica game. Um, I've seen it online. I've seen it at Target um, and some other places. And it actually has a little LED screen in the little bubble that's in the middle of the, uh, the Jumanji game, um, where in the movie, you know, riddles would appear there and that would kind of give you an idea of what was going to happen or what was gonna come out of the game that you would have to face. You know, back when I was a kid, they had a Jumanji game, but it didn't, couldn't do that. We didn't have the technology for it. They couldn't, they didn't ha know how to really achieve that at the time. Uh, when I was growing up. Um, and so the best you got was a drama bungee game that you had to slide like a card under the bubble and it would show words or something. And it wasn't that bad. Uh, but now you can actually have and make it look, it looks very magical because the words actually show up. The, they're speakers, so you get the jungle drums when you open the game. It's really cool. The game is really cool. I played it when we first got it. Um, I played it with my nephews and my niece. <laughs> it's really cool. Just the game itself is really cool. The fact that you can play it, that it actually seems very magical is just amazing that they that this even exists. Um, but my only problem that I have with it is that the outside uh, looks very plasticky. They did a really good job at getting that etched um, wood carved look on it because the outside is supposed to be like carved wood. Um, but if you look in the movie, it actually, the wood is a darker brown and then also looks like it's been hand painted and then that paint had worn off over time uh, because this game has been like played and then people usually try to bury it or, you know, throw it away or, you know, throw it in the ocean or whatever. Like every time they play it, somebody tries to get rid of it because they don't want anyone else to stumble upon it and have to play the game because they see how dangerous it is. 
uh, which fails every time, um, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, the, the game that I have, it's just this plasticky brown. There's no, there's no depth to it, you know? It looks carved, uh, like someone carved into the wood, um, and it looks very accurate to the movie as far as like what's on the game. Um, but the paint, there's just no good paint job. It looks like plastic. It doesn't look like the movie or the wood. And I knew as soon as I saw that, I was like, I have to paint that. <laughs> I have to repaint this. I could not be who I am and not repaint this to look more like the one from the movie. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. In a nutshell, we're gonna paint my replica Jumanji game <clears throat> so that it looks like it's from the movie. And then that way, when we open it up, we can play it like they did in the movie. So it will be complete. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do today. So, um, uh, but before we get into that, uh, I would like to say that if you, if this is your first time here and this is the kind of content that seems interesting to you or even that you like um, costuming or other crafts and other tutorials and just pretty much anything all around spooky because we do like spooky things on this channel, then you would give this video a thumbs up and you would also hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. It's Halloween all year long here, not just in October. So if you like that, then stick with us because it is a lot of spooky fun on this channel. Also, if you'd like to support this channel in a more personal way, I do have a Patreon. Uh, patrons get lots of extra spooky goodies, including extra content. Uh, there is an exclusive Patreon-only series that I have there uh, called Terror 2. It's a horror host type show hosted by me uh, where we just talk about and do a bunch of other extra spooky stuff. There is one going to come very soon. I'm working on editing it now. Is my top 10 favorite spooky romance movies just uh, for the month of February because, you know, it's the month of love because of Valentine's Day. <laughs> and even if you aren't a fan of Valentine's Day, but you like spooky stuff, it might be for you. I have other videos like that where I talk about some of my favorite spooky Christmas movies. Um, I do, I read ghost stories, uh, just stuff like that, that I've been, that I've wanted to do on this channel, but doesn't really fit here. Um, and so I just do it over on Patreon and it's really fun. I have a lot of fun doing those videos. It, T actually takes a lot of effort. Um, a lot of editing goes into them. So, you know, if it sounds like something fun that you would want to check out, uh, then please go to patreon.com slash Jackie Arment and think about giving a little bit of support. Even just the tiniest bit helps. So even the smallest tier, which is $3 a month, gives a lot to this channel and also has access to all of the terror tube and the majority of the goodies there. Uh, other than that, I guess without further ado, we'll get into, I'll kind of explain what my plans are for this project. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that. All right, let's go. All right, we're here in the craft room. Um, we're on the floor because we're gonna do a little bit of things here before I start painting it. Um, but basically, here's the game. Ugh, it's heavy. Uh, so as you can see, yeah, the carving actually looks pretty good. Uh, it, like, like I said, it doesn't look terrible. Um, and then you open it up, and there's, you can hear the pieces. I mean, you can hear the game going. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's even got like the lettering. Oh gosh. In there. On the side. Yeah, you get the gist. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so it's really neat. Um, yes, we got the lettering here. I mean, we got the, the front here, which like I said, it doesn't look too bad. Like the carving looks good. It's just this wood looks like plastic. <laughs> and it's not the worst, it's really not. It's really not that bad. But when you look at a picture from the movie, which I'll put like right here or something, it's much darker brown, you can tell. Um, except for maybe the, this part uh, where, you know, the picture is. Um, that seems to be a lighter brown. So what I plan to do is, I think I'm gonna take this apart 
Um, I'm mostly just gonna take the uh, hinges off, like just take the screws out of the hinges so I could take the doors completely off. Uh, I will have to take the batteries out so that we don't have to hear it going the entire time. I don't think I'm gonna paint the back. Honestly, it would be cool if maybe later I just put like a panel over this somehow. Cause this is, looks like plastic, right? Um, if I could put a panel over that, that would be kind of cool. But I mean, we're not gonna do that for now. That's, that's for future something. So I don't think I'm gonna paint this. Plus I'm a little worried about paint getting in here in this box where the, you know, batteries go and stuff. So, but I am gonna paint the sides. I would like to paint the sides here. Um, on the inside and everything like that. So yeah, so I'm gonna take it apart, take the doors off and everything so I can get to painting the rest of it. Basically, I'm gonna spray paint it because I feel like that would be easiest than trying to hand paint. Plus I feel like on the sides here, which are a little slipperier, plastic, just acrylic paint's not gonna stick to that. And I have this that I got from Walmart um, it's this espresso brown, which I think is exactly the color. It's satin, so it's not shiny. So it's gonna be dull, which is, again, what we want. And it bonds to plastic, it says, which is what I need. And it's a paint and primer, because that's also what I want, because I want the acrylic paint to stick to this. I don't think it will if we don't use a primer of some sort. So that's the other reason why I was gonna do this um, to start. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape off, like on the inside, obviously I'm gonna tape off the board part, but I think I'm gonna tape like with some painter's tape, I'm gonna actually tape off around here. Just because, I mean, this surface is pretty rough. I might be able to sand it a little bit before I paint with the acrylic. But like I said, when I was talking about looking at the one from the movie, this part seems to be a lighter, shade of wood uh, where, where it's painted. Uh, so I kind of think I wanna leave that part not dark brown. Plus I'll be, I can see, I feel like if I paint it dark brown, I won't be able to see all the little details in here when I'm trying to paint over it. But basically uh, once I have it spray painted, then I will go in with acrylic paint. I'll probably sand this a bit. Um, but then I'll go in it with acrylic paint and just paint over this. And I'm not gonna make it super perfect because like I said again from the movie, it looks kind of like it was painted a long time ago and over time over people playing the game, uh, the paint has kind of worn off and it looks very worn and old, which is my favorite thing to paint. <laughs> I love painting things to look old and used and worn. And you know, I might even on the sides here go in and paint some like wood grain because this has some great wood grain on the top, but it doesn't really here on the sides. And so maybe I can just paint some faux wood grain in there uh, to make it look cool. I don't know, but that's the plan. So I think for today, I'm mostly going to work on taking it apart, spray painting it. Um, I don't think it'll take multiple coats. Um, and then I think I'll just work on doing the paint, like the, the hand painting stuff maybe tomorrow. And then it'll be done. This is not gonna take very long. Um, this is a quick project. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, I'm really excited to get this thing looking legit. <laughs> so anyway, all right, well, I guess we'll just go ahead and get to uh, putting painter's tape on this and mapping out, you know, covering up the places I don't want the spray paint to go and then we will go outside and we will spray paint this thing. Alrighty, let's get going. All right, so here's me trying to get the little pins out uh, of the hinges and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get this apart. So I actually end up going ahead and taping off everything and I wait until Chris gets home 
for him to try to figure it out. And of course, once he got home, it was like he just did it instantly. Like he knew what he was doing, but uh, whatever. Um, I didn't end up filming that part, but it ended up just being as simple as taking the tweezers and pulling the pins out. Uh, I don't know how he magically figured that out, but anyways, he did it, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's day two. I had to finish spray painting some of it this morning um, because by the time Chris got home and was able to help me get the pins out, <laughs> uh, it was starting to get dark after I did the first round of spray painting, so I had to finish it this morning. But it turned out really good. So it's still not put together all the way yet. So like here we have the base um, just around the edge. Uh, I did not paint the back because I just felt like stupid. Um, it already looks a lot better with the dark paint on it. And then the, the sides we got, uh, I painted the side and everything. Now I haven't taken the tape off of the top yet. I thought I would do it on camera because it's really, really satisfying and have a reveal because this was the one I was the most excited about peeling this off. <gasps> okay. Let's see if I can get it in one big. This painter's tape did really good. I was worried about it bleeding through. It actually didn't, because you know how sometimes painter's tape does that? Um, and I was especially worried about the graphic uh, parts um, or about the painter's tape not sticking very well, but it did. It did a really, it did its job. Um. <gasps> Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> and like, I mean, it went a little bit, I guess it bled a little bit on some of the edges. Like it kind of got under the tape, like the way the angle when I was, but you know what, it's okay. Um, I'm not mad about it because then it just looks more worn and old. Oh, it's like opening a present. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. <laughs> oh, it already looks so much better just like this. 
just with the, the dark edges around it, it already looks like 10 times better. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. So for today, I'm going to put this back together and then we're going to do the fun painting part. Um, I'm going to paint the top. I'm just going to kind of look at a reference picture from the movie and search through my mini paints and get the stuff that I think matches as, you know, as well as it can. And then around the edges of the game, um, I kind of want to do like a dry brushing uh, to kind of look like wood grain a little bit, just a little, just to give it a little more texture on the side so it still doesn't look so... And then my thought is that, I mean, I'm definitely going to Mod Podge the top, like the doors that I'm painting on with the acrylic paint because that will just chip right off. So I'm, I'm definitely going to put some kind of clear coat on that. I don't know if I'm just going to spray a clear coat or if I'm going to Mod Podge it because I have a matte clear coat spray that I kind of want to use because I feel like if it's matte, it'll look even more like wood, you know, and it'll look e even more old I mean, if it doesn't look shiny. So yeah, I don't know. I might do that. Um, that will just be a decision, you know, later. And I don't know if I'll get to doing the clear coat tonight or if that will be a thing for tomorrow. Like that'll be the very last thing I do tomorrow or something. I don't know. I kind of want to try to get it done today and I should be able to get it done today. Um, but yeah, so fun painting stuff today. And I was excited because this is when it's really going to come to life and start looking really cool. Oh my gosh. It's just so crazy how like just a simple little changes to something just makes it look like 10 times better. So anyway, um, okay. So yeah, we'll just get started. And hopefully we'll get this finished today. I'm so excited. All right.
eventually. It's done! Yay! Look at it, it looks so cool. You guys, I am super stoked about this. This turned out amazing. I, I know I've, <laughs> I know my reactions have kind of been like that, um, just like for these past couple projects that I've done. Like most of the videos this year, I am having a reaction like that, but you know what? I'm starting out pretty strong. I don't want to jinx it. But um, yeah, this year, so far, the projects are turning out just perfectly. This is so cool. Um, it looks now just like the one. Now, one thing I did do uh, that you didn't really see after I stopped filming, I did do kind of like a brown wash over it. It's hard to tell um, unless you get up real close, but um, I just felt like, especially the letters, they it just looked a little still too new. And there were some cracks in there. 
in the lettering that I felt like needed to be brought out. And so I just mixed some brown, dark brown paint uh, and some water and just kind of did a wash over the whole thing, just like with a paintbrush and just kind of dabbed it on and let it pool in places and stuff and just let it dry. And I think that definitely um, made things look a lot like better. Some of the, the highlighting I did with the white, it kind of dinged it. It just made it look, you know, old. Uh, Cause that's what we're going for. We want it to look old. Uh, but yeah, and then I just, I also did like a coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing, which I, like I, I thought I was gonna do sealant, but um, I didn't. I just went ahead with the Mod Podge. It was kind of raining today and I didn't want to have to go out there and do that. But, but yeah, I think it looks really good. I am super happy about it. <laughs> it just looks so cool. I'm over the moon. The only problem that I, I'm noticing so far is that one of the doors when it to open it is kind of sticking a little. But I think it's it's from just from the spray paint. It's a little sticky. So maybe if you guys were doing this at home, I would maybe recommend taping this. I probably should have taped that so that it didn't get paint on it because that's causing it to kind of stick uh, and not want to open very easily. But I don't know, I might be able to like, I don't know, put some flour on it or cornstarch to kind of help it not be so sticky and maybe over time opening and closing it. But it's weird, it's only like one side on each door, but they, and it wasn't like super easy to open <laughs> to begin with uh, at the start and now it's just like kind of like harder. But, um, or I could sand it down a little, <laughs> that might help, but. That's the only issue. <laughs> uh, everything else seemed to work really good. I just, I love it. I, it is a huge improvement over <laughs> the way it looked before. And I, I'm so happy. I, I now the only problem is to, uh, to figure out where to display this. Cause I'm totally going to display it. It, it, it. it must be displayed. This can't just sit on a shelf or in a closet. I gotta put it somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I knew the second that I got this that I wanted to paint it and paint it I did. And I think it turned out exactly the way I wanted to, it to. And it was kind of relaxing. It was almost like a paint, like, like a coloring book, you know? I was just painting this already chiseled scene uh, I, you know, I kind of looked at a reference photo, but, and, um, but I mean, I took some artistic liberties too. I didn't do it like exactly, but, um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I love it. I think it looks really cool, but yeah. Um, if you <laughs> liked this video, uh, then as always, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. As far as new videos go, I have some fun spring videos for next month because it's March is coming up. <clears throat> it's finally starting to get warmer outside, and uh, I do want to uh, I do want to um, have like a celebratory live stream here soon, probably in the next month, because my channel hit. 1,000 uh, subscribers. <laughs> I'm so excited. I honestly didn't know if I was gonna get here. Um, even just like in the past, you know, couple months or so, um, I was getting real close, but I kept, it kept fluctuating. I would gain a couple subscribers and then I would lose some and gain, lose, and lose. And, and it was like a back and forth, back and forth. And I was just like, I was so close for so long and it was like, come on, just like, I just needed that last little nudge and um, I got there. So I'm super excited. That was like a personal goal for me and this channel this year. So I just feel like super grateful. <laughs> so I wanna do like a celebratory live stream and I think I have an idea of what we're gonna do. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, I think it will be something fun and a Q&A. So I'll probably post something on Instagram and also the community tab on 
YouTube uh, where you guys can drop questions you have for me that I could answer, but then also just, I mean, have questions ready because it'll be a live. So if you want to ask questions live, you can. Uh, but I think I'm going to do something kind of fun and spooky while we do a QA. and a It's just mostly overall just a, a thank you. <laughs> it's really surreal getting to a thousand subscribers. It's crazy. I, I was kind of like over the moon yesterday because I saw it, it happened yesterday. But yeah, it's just crazy. It's really, really crazy. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, everybody out there. That's really cool. It's really, really cool. So, so um, yeah, I'm really excited. But anyway, uh, also, you know, if you're looking for more content or just more spooky fun, you can head to patreon.com slash Jackie Arment and think about giving a little bit of support there. Um, I have tear tube episodes there uh, that you can watch. I am kind of excited for the future of that show as well. I've got some more fun ideas for that. And uh, as always, I will leave links to my social media. So my Instagram and TikTok, where a bunch of extra stuff ends up there that doesn't make it to YouTube. So, you know, you can check that out. Um, I will also leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can purchase fun, spooky, witchy Halloween things all year long. That's fun. <laughs> also, if you're looking for something to do in between uh, my videos that also has to do with me that is not what I had just mentioned, uh, I do have two books on Amazon. Uh, one is a zombie romance. And one is a vampire adventure story. They are both available as paperback and Kindle versions, and you can read a little bit of the Kindle version to see if it's your thing or not before you buy it. Any purchases of that book also help support the channel because I do get a portion of the sales from those because I wrote them. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's another way to support the channel and it's for something fun to read, especially, I mean, now if you're looking for something spooky and romancy, the zombie romance that I have is kind of perfect for that. It's sweet, it's cute, uh, it's romantic and spooky. <laughs> and uh, I will also leave a link to my author website and my author Facebook page where I update uh, occasionally about things about my writing, about uh, new books coming out and stuff, which I am in the process of writing a third book right now. Um, and there's some sneak peeks and links to them there uh, as well. Um, it is about a young woman who's possessed by a demon. So you can kind of read a little bit of that and get excited about it if you've read my other stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I'm really, really just over the moon about it and just so happy and excited. And I can't wait to see where this channel goes for this next year because this just this year has just started and uh we're already i feel like we're already starting with a bang you know hit my goal subscribers so far all the projects i've done have turned out exactly the way i wanted them to perfect and amazing and without a hitch so far so yeah i this year's starting out pretty good already <laughs> So I'm excited to see where we go from here. Um, and I'm sure you guys are too. <laughs> Other than that, uh, you guys just stay spooky as always. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.